Hey everybody, what's up? Pycel68 here, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Jack and Daxter the Precursor Legacy. In the last episode, we finished up everything we had to do in the Spider Cave, and then moved on to Snowy Mountain, where we unlocked a Yellow Eco Vent, or every Yellow Eco Vent in the world, I should say, thanks to a switch like in Forbidden Jungle. This time, after all that, you might be wondering what the heck it is that I am doing in the Mountain Pass right now. Well... It's actually pretty related. For those who remember, when we first went through the mountain pass, there was a precursor, not precursor, a power cell that we were unable to get. Well, as you can see here, there's yellow eco vent and a suspicious boulder in front of us. And right behind it is our final power cell. I will see you guys back at Snowy Mountain now that we got that. Okay, our first stop now that we're back here is actually this scout fly that I initially missed. Okay, now let's head down the mountain slope a bit to where we actually were. Alright, so this is about where we left off at. There's a little entrance to the cave where we activated the yellow eco vents. Oh, really? Yeah, I know how to kill those guys, Daxter. Better you than me. I know how to defeat them, Daxter. That was just a freak accident. Okay, Jack, please. There we go. Now that, that thing's done, we don't have to worry about jumping over it. Okay, right, back on the solid ground to avoid those guys. Let's go up around here and see where it leads us exactly. Have another one of these guys breaking things, but we actually don't have any red eco with us for him. Well, that's just because it's right over here. <laughs> In fact, this is just an alternate way up from, um, I'll show you guys in a moment, but there were two paths we could have taken to get up here. Uh, one was actually down a ramp of ice, for lack of a better term. Got a bunch of these things in one area, the precursor blockers. Let's see if we can go ahead and get all of them done. There you go. Being able to punch on the ice certainly helps. Oh, that was delayed popping out. So, if you actually look beneath us, if I can stop, you can actually see the yellow eco switch down there. That's kind of supposed to be the hint towards the player uh, that you can do that, as well as the various just yellow eco vents themselves lying around. And also, this is that ramp I was talking about. It's actually a bit easier going up the other way than using this ramp. Mainly because these things don't stay close nearly long enough for you to hop on them. Um, is there anything here? Oh, this area. We'll come back to this a bit later. Because that's just going to be our little exit out of Snowy Mountain, more or less. So let's go over here first. And if you recognize this flash over the ridge, the flood floods back. It has use outside of Boggy Swamp. Its use is a timed platforming section. 
Foggy Swamp was supposed to be you getting used to the controls. This area is your actual test of them. <laughs> Thought I wasn't gonna make that. It's neat that the clock sound effect actually keeps going um, when you step on another button. Like, the previous one won't audibly run out. Yeah, that was a pretty easy precursor orb. Power cell, always get them mixed up. And, from stepping on a little button right here, we can get into the worker fort that occupies most of Snowy Mountain. Or is kind of the central focus of Snowy Mountain. And you don't have to go through all this again. This platform will take you right back up to it. Okay, right off the bat, we got three of the blue eco things here. The ones that have um, precursor orbs pop out of them. We're gonna wait up this little tower in the center here. Here's the blue eco for it, except there's no other ones. It's literally just this one thing of blue eco, and you gotta make it last all the way down there to open up all three. Again, not the hardest thing in the world to do, but it can be annoying. Especially if you don't know how to pace your little falling with the uh, circle spin. Or spin kick, I think is the proper name of it. Let's actually head up this properly this time. You can actually see another power cell right there. For now, we just gotta cross these. Hitting that thing will actually give us a little checkpoint in case we fall here. It's nice of them to think about that so you don't have to go through all that stuff again. You head up here, there's a scout fly. Always nice to find those. Were there any... Okay, I was about to say, were there any precursor orbs along this route? Let us continue on, though. Wait for this... Here we go. Gonna wait a bit there. Now. Okay, almost fell there. Alright, and if I'm correct... Yep, there's just one area left of Snowy Mountain, it's the area I said to hold until later. Let's make our way back over there. Um, I'm gonna ignore the ramp this time, because again, that's a bit annoying to navigate, and we're just gonna head up through here. Oh, no, if it's a bit further along, that's right. Almost there. I don't know why I said there with emphasis there. It's not like I was going to fall. Yep, and now we just roll around over here. Oh, wait. I actually just realized as we're going through this, there's another area that we're missing now that I think about it. I, rem I remember exactly what it is. I just completely forgot it existed. Or that uh, we still have yet to do it. Hey. Careful. 
careful not to fall here. We'll get that in a moment, because we do need this yellow eco. And, first off, there's a thing right there. Oh wait, no! We, there's not another area. I was getting it confused with something else. This is the last area of Snowy Mountain. Oops. Do a little spin here, make sure you got all of those precursor orbs. Uh, which side? Okay, it's me on this side. Where I can make the same mistake twice in a row. Yeah, just roll jump. Makes things a bit easier. And there's uh, everything done for Snowy Mountain. So, I will see you guys back around the volcanic crater for everything we have left to do before Lava Tube. See you in all those areas. Alright, first off, we have the final oracle of the game. Another power cell. Go ahead and get the two power cells for from him. Effort, a power cell is the reward. Next up, we have the two miners, Gordy and Willard, and the four power cells that they have. All right, already. Here's a power cell for those orbs of yours. Here's a power cell for those orbs of yours. Oh, all right already. Here's a power cell for those orbs of yours. This cutscene's different. Here's a, here's a, a power cell. Yeah, yeah. What he said. That's it. <laughs> Cleaned us out. No more power cell. <laughs> Gordy's pretty much talking to me here, considering I always get them mixed up with the precursor orbs. And finally. Here's that last area of spider caves that we need yellow eco to get all the power precursor orbs in. Alright, and I will see you guys over in the lava tube now that we've done everything in Volcanic Crater. make our way through the lava tube then to the Yellow Sage's lab. It's about the same thing that Fire Canyon was, you know, just needing to pop the balloons. Missed a precursor orb back there, we'll go back for it. Anyways, yeah, you just pop the balloons and hope you're not killed by extreme lava temperatures. <laughs> the one thing about lava tube that's different from Fire Canyon is there's multiple paths throughout it, kind of like mountain paths mountain pass. It's meant to be really a culmination of your zoomer skills up to this point. 
as you can see, I have none. Oh, I don't know how I made that. Okay. Good job me, I guess. Oh, there's precursor orbs right here. That's gonna cost me going back for them. But I like to live dangerously. Don't know how I got that scout fly, but I did. Okay, got all the uh, precursor orbs. And as you can see in here, there's things we need to destroy with Yellow Eco. Oh, you can't break when you have Yellow Eco active. Okay. There are some decent balloons in here, though, to help cool your engine down if you need them, though. And once you get through this room, it actually functions as a checkpoint, so if you die, you'll spawn back there. Definitely helpful with how long this place is to have a checkpoint in it. Precursor orbs. Oh wait, no, because I got them all. Yeah, I don't think there's anything hidden th throughout that section then. Unless I missed a uh, scout fly. And you can shoot down all this stuff as well. So that's not really in your way. Apparently a scout fly was under these. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I don't know how I lived through that. Oh, I thought crashing into these uh, instantly blew them up and killed you. I know these mines do that, but I thought the dark ego things did too. And when you're on these platforms, you're actually out of range of the... Um, the uh, lava to repeat you. The alarm's still going off as we're overheating. So, before we hit the teleporter to bring Kira and Samos in, right over here is the entrance to Gaul and Maya Citadel. But Kira said we were activating the teleporter in the Yellow Sage's lab. Well, as you can see, there's obviously no Yellow Sage lab here. There is this, though. It's a weird structure that doesn't match the rest of the Citadel, but does look similar to the other Sage's huts and matches the Yellow Sage's aesthetic. I like to believe they originally, well, there is evidence that they did have more areas to this game planned. Um, and this was supposed to be the Yellow Sage's lab initially, but it had to get cut and they just left it here. His lab is mentioned still in the NTSC manual and obviously Kira's dialogue. Just pretty interesting to me. Anyways, let's let Kira and Samos through. Hey! Where's old Short Drain and Wrinkling? This is terrible! Father is missing! I think Gaul and Maya may have kidnapped him as well. Relax, sweetheart. I got everything under control. Under control? Lurker armies continue to grow across the land. The sages have been kidnapped. Gaul and Maya have gathered enough eco to complete their terrible plan. And to stop them, you're going to have to fight your way through their citadel. Uh, yeah. That about uh, sums it up. You've got to rescue my father before it's too late. And Jack, be careful. Yeah, we will be. And with that, we have our final objective for the game. In the next episode, we're going to fight our way through Gaul and Maya Citadel. See you guys then.